All right, we are starting in a standing position, warming up in chair pose. Feet can be hip distance or apart. Inhale, reach your arms forward and up. Exhale, sink your hips to your chair pose, Utkatasana. Inhale, stretch, elongate the body. Exhale, send your hips back and down. Inhale, you're going to have your hands near you to lift that left knee, left foot up. Exhale, you're going to send it back, just finding that balance, and then step it again forward. Okay, you can have your hands anywhere here to support you, and then switch sides. Inhale, lift the right foot up, hover. Exhale, send it back. There's no right or wrong here. You're just kind of doing these marches. Inhale to momentum. Exhale to kick back. Good. Back to your seated chair or Utkatasana. Inhale. Exhale the other side. Good. Now inhale, reach up to stand up. A little back bend here. Exhale, dive all the way down. Oh, forward fold. Uttanasana. You could have your hands to support you here, flat back. So I want you to focus on really getting your hips back, bending the knee as you send the hips back. So bend the knee, send it back, right? Trying to mobilize the legs, stretching the hamstrings here in a very uh, halfway lift, if you will. Good. Feet open to hip distance or apart, wider if you want. Right hand down, left hand sweeps all the way up, breathing in, twist. Exhale here. Good, back to center, switch sides, inhale. Exhale, other side. Good. Now inhale, drop it down, flat back. Exhale, you're going to find now your fold. Ooh, that stretched feeling of that back legs. Maybe waving a little bit sides to sides if that feels good. Nice. Now crawling your fingertips forward, finding now your downward facing dog. Ooh -hoo. Hands are shoulders distance, feet can be hip distance apart. We're going to start to roll our spine forward and rolling it back. Roll forward, roll back. One more time, roll forward, protract your shoulder blades, high plank here. We're going to lift um, one foot up, hover from the mat, point the toes, and then the other side. Good, switches here for five. Other side, four, protract, good. Three, keep on going. Two, last one, one, and then the other side. Good, shift your weight forward, shoulders past the wrist, warm up the wrist, and then back to downward facing dog. Good, we're gonna do that for five. Shoulders past the wrist, high plank. Breathe in, exhale to your downward dog, five. Breathe in, four. Inhale, three. Two, last one, downward facing dog, good. Now I want you to adjust yourself when you, where you can get your feet together for our three-legged dog to warm up. Right leg will lift all the way up, breathe in. Whew. Now you're going to rotate your ankles here in a downward facing dog. Good, bend the knee, open the hips, stack your hip joints facing now your right side. Good. You're going to straighten that right leg to the side and you're going to tap it towards the right side. And then lift it up for three. Tap it down and up two. Last one and up. Good. Now open it up some more and now you're going to start to draw circles with the knee, with that bent knee. Mobilizing the hip socket here. Good. And oh, now finding that scorpion shape, half scorpion, as you shift your weight a little bit forward. Good. Bent knee still. Try to aim for that toes towards your head. 
and then push it back. Good. Inhale forward for three. Exhale. For two. Exhale. For one. And from here, you're going to extend the leg, send it towards your chest. Knee to chest. Step it inside of the right hand now. Momentum. Inhale, finding your crescent lunge. Exhale to cactus that arms. Inhale. And exhale. Bend the elbows. Good. Back bend. Inhale. And then exhale all the way. Drop your hands down. Step your right leg back. High plank. Good. Inhale. Shift forward. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Up dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. We're going to do everything what we did on the other side. But first, we're going to switch sides. So right leg will lift up. Breathing in. Exhaling now, you're going to really send that right leg all the way out to the right side, as straight as your knee allows. And then all the way, you're going to switch sides. Skandasana or side lunge here. Hands forward, inhale. Exhale, switch all the way up to the other side. Good. Inhale, hands forward. One more time. Exhale, switch to the other side. And last side. Inhale. Exhale, whoo, all the way towards the other side. Plant your hands to the other side of the mat now. Good. Step the left leg back, finding a downward facing dog. Whoo. <laughs> now I like my feet together so we can lift the left leg all the way up, breathing in. Whoo. Exhaling, rotating the ankle. Whatever direction, just switching it up left and right. Ooh. Inhale, point the toes, open it up some more, exhale to bend the knee, Ooh. and open the hips to the left side, stack your hips, maybe flex that foot, and stay for one full breath cycle, breathing in, Ooh. breathing out, good, breathing in, three-legged dog, and exhale, send that left leg towards the sides, drop it down, four, three, inhale, exhale, four, two, Last one. And one. Woohoo! Now from here, you're gonna send it all the way up towards the sky. Finding that half scorpion shape. Woo! Four, three. Inhale. Exhale. Four, two. Four, one. Exhale. Stretch the leg. Send it towards your chest. Knee to chest. Lift it as high as you can. Drop the foot inside of the left hand. Finding your crescent lunge. Inhale for momentum. Ooh, exhale here. Cactus the arms. Inhale, maybe a little bit up. And exhale to cactus. Back bend and last one. Inhale. Exhale. Now drop it all the way down as you inhale and exhale here. Good job. Step the left leg back, downward facing dog. We're going to take our vinyasa, rolling the spine forward, shoulders past the wrist, exhaling down, chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Hoo -hoo, we're going to flow some more. Left leg will lift all the way up, breathing in. Ooh, exhaling, send it outside of the left hand this time. Good. Lizard lunge. Inhale here. Exhale here. Good. Inhale. Exhale, stretch the front knee and lift the toes up. Heels planted firmly down. Good. Stay for a few breaths to feel that stretch. Good. Inhale, bend the knee. And exhale, thread that left hand underneath that left leg next to the left hand. Exhale here. Stretch the front knee. Good. From here, you're going to pivot as you bend your knee forward. Pivot that right foot now. Heel is down, toes are up. And then just stay here, opening the hips. You can adjust this right hand to where it's comfortable to support you and you're sandwiching that left arm. Good. Planting the hands to your downward dog position. Step the left leg back, downward facing dog. Right leg will lift up, breathe in. Ooh. Knee to chest, exhale outside of the shoulder, tap to drop that right foot outside of the right hand. Good. Lizard lunge. Inhale here. 
exhale here inhale exhale stretch the knee toes are up heel down good stretch and stay for about a few breaths letting go of that leg tension you're feeling inhale forward good exhale back inhale shift and bend your knee exhale now right hand outside of that right foot exhale step or stretch the right knee then pivot yourself as you bend the front knee facing the left side of the mat sandwiching that arm left heel is down toes are up support you with the left hand down and stay here opening Ooh, super deep stretch here good all right now from here we're not going to get into our downward dog we're just gonna find our seated skandasana or side lunge if you will good inhale hands open and wide exhale to bind clasping your fingertips as you fold a little bit down to maybe reach your fingertips to clasp good intense let go of the bind right knee towards your midline drop it down internal rotation you're going to twist more to the left side left hand supports you behind inhale right hand sweeps up exhale now deep stretch and side bend back to your center good lift the right knee up beautiful job and now one more time big breath here inhale and as you exhale you're gonna kick that right leg forward grab it with the left hand opposite hand finding your compass <sighs> twist beautiful toes will point to the left side all the way twist yourself good inhale center exhale to twist inhale exhale last one inhale exhale stay in that twisted position sit on your bum now R adjust your hand to where you could twist more and then kind of like in this like uh what is this angle about 40 degree with your torso this is the 90 degree your bottom leg from here you're going to really hook that right um leg behind your right shoulder hook 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 good now from there really crunch that right side abs boom right and bending that right knee you're now kind of forming this like hooking and then facing forward good we're gonna get to our elephant trunk pose plant your hands firmly down so notice that you're twisting and really elongate to the sides first to the right there that really requires that right obliques to be crunch the right side is normally what is harder for us to crunch normal um generally speaking left side is going to be easier to crunch so we're going to really mm, crunch that right side more and then the next round this is going to be a lot easier hopefully you might notice that okay grab your ankle with the right hand and really hook some more as you lift that right butt cheek up so now your left femur and the butt cheek is firmly rooting down right right butt cheek is up hook and up okay let's make this a little bit more mobile repeat this movement all right now when you're comfortable and ready hook 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 plant your hands down your hands going to be a little bit wider than your shoulders distance if you like that's fine and then from here somewhere in between that thigh right so this is going to depend on the bone structure and where where you're comfortable so if you want to test lift your bum a little bit forward fold here lift the hips up straighten the arms hold three two one drop you could just do that again otherwise if you're up for the float maybe you can try it with me inhale shift forward lift the hips up good exhale you could either stay here or lift for three two one elephant trunk pose good morning and drop it down good whoo dandasana l shape with your body inhale reach your hands up exhale to fold all the way down paschimottanasana beautiful we're gonna rest for a little bit good 
Okay, how are you doing? Feel your body. Good. Left leg will now bend and swing to the other side. Boom. Good. We're going to do what we did on the other side. Left knee up. Okay, I'm just gonna adjust myself. Seated, seated skandasana, side lunge. Inhale, all the way, arms wide. Exhale, finding your bind. Forward fold a bit to clasp your fingertips behind and then drop the hands back to straighten your torso. Stay. Good. Inhale again, open nice and wide. Exhale, now drop the left knee down towards your midline. And now we're gonna add some fold here. Good, inhale and fold. Inhale and fold down. Repeat, yeah. All the way up, lift the knee up. Good, now you're going to really find that twist, okay? So inhale, open wide. Exhale, kick the left foot up. Woo! Hook it underneath the left arm. Yeah, that this way you can see better. Okay, from here, try to just like find this hooking moment and then maybe grabbing the inside of your sole or outside. Okay, we're going to find our compass. Grab and switch. Opposite hand will grab the left leg. Now from here, right? This is a little bit awkward moment. <laughs> so you're gonna lift that left butt cheek this time. Good, now inhale. Lengthen your upper spine or your upper body and spine. Exhale, now twist to the right side. Good, twist, twist, twist. Good, inhale, center, point the toes. Exhale to twist. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Woo, now stay here. Sit on your both butt cheeks now, and then left hand will whoop. Find that balance to get that 40 degree angle with your torso. Hold it here. You could grab the ankle if that feels good, or the foot, or the big toe, whatever. You could grab maybe the pinky side edge of your pinky foot, <laughs> if that's comfortable. <laughs> okay, stay. Good. Now we're gonna change it up a little bit and see how you feel. Okay, you're going to so instead of hooking that knee to the shoulder, this time it's just on the upper arm. You're going to have that hand. So your hand or palm will face up, rotating inwards your shoulder here. Good. Now you're going to try to have your clasp or bind, but your palm will now face back. Good. From here, inhale, right hand sweeps back. Exhale, woohoo, open up and twist. Clasp your fingertips, drop the hands down. Now exhale to extend the leg, Whoo! Again, inhale, exhale, twist to the right side, good. Extend, stretch the leg, different compass variation or bird of paradise in a seated position. Inhale, drop the knee or bend the knee. Exhale, twist to the right side. Good, stay three. Two, one, oh, that was intense. If you did not hold that, that was very relaxed for you. So you want to really extend that. So notice that as you do that, because this arm is bind on a bound a position, right? Notice that feeling. You will feel that resistance from the hamstrings and all the way here, which actually really helps with mobility. So this, I'm not relaxed. I might look relaxed, but I'm not. So I'm exerting all my effort to stretch that leg. Whew, and then now you can relax for a little bit, right? So you wanna get that momentum of super intense, like whew, engagement. And then when you feel that that's good enough, you already worked on your muscles, you can relax for a little bit. Good. Now we're gonna get to our compass. That's a different approach. This is probably gonna be a lot easier to lift up. So left hand will drop down, hook to the shoulder, and then now you're twisting to the opposite side, right? You will notice also which is harder for you to twist, left or the other side, right? That requires a lot of the, like the different angle twist. You want your body or your torso to be like screw. Peek, peek, right? And then your hip sockets kind of staying uh, grounded as you screw your torso. And that's a great and healthy spine. 
right? So you want to be able to twist to the right, twist to the left, maybe from here, drop. Now this opens up so much, but obviously if you're not here, you will only be somewhere here if you're very tight, right? So this should be accessible. Again, just find what works best and hold, maybe looking up. Ooh, sunshine. <laughs> Good. All right, now we could get into our half lotus for a deeper twist. You're gonna grab that big toe. So again, inhale, shift or reach. Whatever you can reach, high. Exhale, twist to the left side, drop the hands down. Good, inhale, left hand sweeps back, palm facing back. Exhale, fold and grab the toe, bend the elbow. Good. Half bind. Right hand can be towards the thigh or the knee. Good. All right, when you're ready, we're gonna do the elephant trunk pose on this side. Okay, hoo hoo, bent knee. Now you're going to really inhale right hand up. Exhale, ooh, to the left side. Good. We're going to just crunch that side abs from that crunching moment, ooh, shake, shake, shake. Hook that uh, leg to the shoulder. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Okay, feel that stability, right? Inhale. And then exhale, fold, inhale, exhale, fold, inhale, exhale, fold, last one. And fold here. Now you're gonna drop the hands down to where it's comfortable. Inhale, lift the hi hips up. Whew. Exhale, hold three, two, abs are working, one, drop. Again, you could just stay there. Otherwise, you could float to elephant trunk pose with me if you have that strength or if you feel ready, inhale. Exhale, lift and hold five, four, three, two, one. Drop, whoo, and whoo, dandasana. From our dandasana, you wanna open the butt cheeks, left and right. Big toes are touching, okay? From here, have your hands behind you. Good, a little bit puffing out the chest. You're gonna rotate your ankles towards the left. So now your toes are facing the left side. Good. Up, center to the right side. Good. Up and left. Up and then the right. Center, open your feet wide, maybe as wide as the mat now. Shake, 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 inhale, center, exhale to the left. Center, Le right. Ooh, which is harder for you? Mine is towards the right. Ooh, super limited. Yeah, okay, so whatever is harder, you wanna do again over there and we're gonna hold it there. Inhale, center, exhale towards the harder side for you, stay, and then now you're gonna add the fold. Good job. No pushing, just do where you can to get that feeling of just like evenness. Good, you're just basically kind of pulsing this, right? Or you could just reach, 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 and you should feel that. Good, ooh, intense. Shake, shake, shake your legs. Now we're gonna do the half lotus on the other side. Whatever you did not do, right? Left leg is straight for me. Right knee is bent, half lotus, inhale, reach. Ooh, exhale, twist to the right side or whatever, the opposite side for you. Good, now grab that thigh with the opposite hand, twist some more, and then inhale, right hand sweeps back. Exhale, folding a little bit, and then bend the elbows to grab the right big toe or the toes. Stay four, five. Four, three, two, and one. Release. Good. Come back to your center. Now you're going to send your heels towards you a little bit. Bend knee. Your fingertips will now face left and right behind you. Shift your weight forward. Woohoo! Coming to the heels lifting up and then drop it down. Good. Shift forward. Stretch some more. Shoulders are stretching. Shift it back. Good, even the legs are stretching, curling your hamstrings, good. Keep on going. 
Okay, now we're gonna bind, um, you'll see. And then it's gonna be a lot easier. Beautiful! Woohoo! Okay, para kanasana. Butterfly pose, inhale, flatten your back, lengthen your spine, exhale to fold all the way down. When you're ready, you can massage the butt cheeks, release a little bit of the tension there. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna find a downward facing dog. E. Whew. Just do however you can get there. And then we're gonna flow. Okie dokie. Downward dog. Feet together. We're gonna inhale forward one roll. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Good, now adjust yourself. Push all the way up, all the way. Navel in, good. Right leg will lift up, breathing in. Exhaling knee to chest, you're gonna send the foot inside of the right hand, good. Drop it down, you're going to drop the heel down for your warrior one. Virabhadrasana one, good. Pivot to your warrior two. Looks forward. Good. Whew. Right hand for up. Shift your weight forward. Reverse the wire. Inhale. Exhale now all the way to your side angle. Right elbow drops down towards the thigh. Left hand stretches to the sides. Reach. Good. Stay for a few here. Gonna stretch some more. Good. Now from here, see if you can let go of that support and then stretch both hands. Woo, good. Okay, you're gonna pivot that back foot now, lifting the back heel. As you come down, left hand drops, right hand sweeps up here. Good, revolved side angle. Okay, from here, you're going to crawl that left hand whoop, 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 outside of the right foot. And then you're gonna twist some more for that ultimate revolved side angle. <laughs> Look up. Beautiful. Okay, slow and steady. Right hand will drop down behind. Left hand sweeps up. Now that's super easy to twist. Woohoo! And then left hand will drop. Good. Coming to your pyramid pose. Straighten the front knee. Slide the heel towards you for that stretch. Just wherever you can feel the stretch. Good. Drop the foot, finding your balance. Lift to your halfway. Inhale, hands back or T-shape. Palms up, exhale. You're going to really try to challenge yourself to fold down to your thigh. Belly and thigh are glued together as you bend now your elbows behind. Good. You're going to try to see if you could maybe bind a little bit here. It doesn't matter however you want to bind. Hold five, four, three, two, and one. Now halfway lift, you're going to get into your Reverse prayer position if you can, right? So from your halfway, lifting your torso up to stand up. Now this is gonna be different for everyone, right? So you wanna adjust accordingly, pulsing yourself up and down until you can maybe wiggle, wiggle, wiggle to get into your reverse prayer position. And then halfway pyramid as much as you can. Inhale. Exhale, maybe you're folding. If that's too intense, obviously you don't want to get down to this pose. Smile. And release. Let go a little bit lifted with the chest to release that bind. Left hand drops down, straighten that right knee. Right hand sweeps up for your revolved triangle pose or revolved pyramid. Right hand will drop down. We're gonna switch sides. Left hand sweeps up for your trikonasana here. Doing all the basic asanas. I love these to reset. 
just helps to find your center. These type of flows, at least for me, hard to look up because of the sun. <laughs> but if you want to look up, you can look up. Good. Left hand will drop. Now you're going to reach, reach, reach forward. Shifting your weight to that right leg, lifting up the leg. Good. Finding that supported warrior three. Left knee will bend and will touch the calf. Shiva squat, if you will, for three. Extend, for two. Extend, for one. Good. Drop it down next to the left right foot. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, fold all the way down. Okay, now we're gonna try to mimic everything that we did on the other side from here in maybe in reverse plant the hands down in front good right leg will now send it back to your supported warrior three Whew. this time though since we did we're gonna do reverse we're gonna add a little bit to kind of feel a little bit mobile on that other leg kick it up for three four two standing splits four one good stay here now bend the knee shiva squat four three extend for two extend for one woohoo and supported warrior three beautiful dropping that foot to your trikonasana shape Whoo. okay now hands in line with the foot or whatever feels good for your trikonasana you're just going to sweep the right hand all the way up breathing in breathing out here your leg feels different I'm gonna try to mimic everything down right hand sweeps down left hand sweeps up revolve pyramid or triangle breathe okay left hand will drop down now left Toes will point up, stretch here and fold. So inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold to your leg. We're staying for a few. Three, two, one, and bend the front knee. We're gonna find our warrior two right hand, cartwheeling the arms. Boom, left hand will be in front look straight ahead good left palm up shift forward breathing in here breathing out now to reverse different breath work good Ooh, so good all the way left elbow drops towards the left thigh right hand sweeps up to stretch extended side angle who Stretch, 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 stretch. Navel in, rib cage in. Three, two, one. Let go of that left elbow. Woo! Stretch some more to the sides. Hold. Three, two, and one. Right hand now will cartwheel down and up. Pivot the back foot to your warrior one. Virabhadrasana one. Inhale. Exhale here. Sink lower. Inhale. Exhale. Good. All the way. Hands down. Whew. Step the left leg back. High plank. Find your high plank. Shift your weight forward. Taking our vinyasa. Exhaling down. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Whew. And drop the knees. You can rest in child's pose. If you want with me, or you could go ahead, get into your Shavasana. I hope you enjoyed that one. That was a quick power up in a very kind of like my style of basic asanas, if you will. And I like to mobilize the joints that way too. Sometimes that makes me really feel like I am grounded. I feel centered. Oh, and we did not do the pyramid on the other side. But you don't really need the prayer position twice, right? But if you want to do that, let's do that right now. Okay, <laughs> left leg in front. 
and see how much easier this could be now for you, right? So pyramid stance, a little bit shorter distance. Inhale, exhale, halfway fold. Good. Send your hands to the sides and then back. Palms are facing back. Good. From here, see if you could now fold more and then crawl, crawl, crawl up and see it's easier now to do it. Obviously, we did so many things already. So you could get into your pyramid prayer position. Good. Whoop. Whoop. Maybe up. up. See if you could do it here. From here, see if you could tuck in your ribcage a little bit harder. Smile. <laughs> Good job. Now let's see if we could do halfway. This requires a lot of balance and also just finding that stable uh, stability with the core, right? So if you like notice doing up and down will help to just really stabilize your core and your full body in return, right? I love standing balances. Ooh, let go in the fold to let go of the bind. Shake, shake, shake. And... That is it. Thank you so much, guys, for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.